All right, guys, I got this 2016 Honda Pilot, and we're going to be replacing the front brake pads. And uh, these are the brake pads in my hand. And I'm going to show you the parts that I'm using. Evolution, pretty good brake pads. There's the part number. Inside this, you're going to have brake pads for this side and the opposite side. So pay attention to this little guy right here. Make sure this stays on the top on the inner brake pad. You cannot use that on the outer brake pad. And if you use the wrong pad from the opposite side, this sensor will become in the bottom, but you want this sensor to be on the top. So make sure you grab the uh, correct uh, piece. Uh, this is the driver's side, okay? It's, it's the same procedure for the opposite side. It's also gonna come with four of these. So you're gonna have four brake pads, four of these, and four of these hardware kit shims, okay? So we're gonna replace all that. So very simple. All I did was I turned the wheel a little bit to the left. That bring the, the hub out here. I'm gonna remove this guy only, okay? And then lift up. This caliper, put it up here, and we're gonna take out the brake pads. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna remove the 17 millimeter right down here. So you're gonna need a 17 millimeter wrench or a ratchet, and you're gonna turn that kind of clockwise. Once you have that loose, you're gonna remove the bolt completely. And then we're gonna lift up this caliper. Most of the time it's not gonna come out, so you need a pry bar or a screwdriver. And what you're gonna do is, you're gonna stick it down here, and you're gonna simply just lift this up. And you hear the little clips falling, those are the little retainers falling out of there. Okay, once this comes up, look this brake pad is all torn apart. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna remove it out of the sliding pin here, and we're gonna just let it sit and rest on the top. So there was a little retainer that fell out of here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off this retainer. Brake pads are done. You see that? Minimum. And the inside brake pad will also come out very easily. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull out this hardware kit just like that and that one. Simple. All right, once you have this out, what you're gonna do is you're gonna clean up the surface here. You could use a wire brush. I usually use a file that covers up all the corrosion and give it nice and smooth surface. Okay, you're gonna do that. Most of the dirt is gonna be in the bottom. Blow some air in it. The top is pretty clean. Let me give it a little. There you go. That looks good. Make sure you clean it up. All the dirt is out of there. After that, you're gonna take your hardware kit. You're gonna simply just stick this in, just like so. Okay, make sure it does not hit the disc, because if it hits the disc, you're gonna have a noise. So make sure you have that little bit of clearance on the disc. And same thing for the top one here. You just stick it in. And it goes right in. There you go. Okay, so make sure you have this little guy on the top. You see it has like a little thing right here. And you're going to take this brake pad with the rear, rear, power, rear pad indicator sensor. It's going to be facing up on the inner brake pad. And your brake pad should go in easily and smoothly. You should not have to struggle to put the brake pads in. Same thing with this one right here. If you have to struggle, then your brake pad needs to be uh, filed up a little bit. You just file the edges here. With the file, you just file here, here a little bit, and then it should be nice and easy. Okay, once that's done, we're gonna move on to compressing the piston. All right, once uh, you have put in your brake pads, and now it's time to compress the piston, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna take all the brake pad, put it right there, and we're gonna take this C, you could use a C clamp here, two of them, but there's a line back here. What I like to use is, I use one of these, And I compress the pistons, I compress one, and then I move on to the other one. And sometimes I just keep doing it, and then this piston will go in eventually once it lines up with the other one. There you go. Both pistons are going in. And the caliper is compressed. Bada bing, bada boom, all right. So this is in. Now you're gonna have more space for the brake pads. 
and enough space in here for the caliper to go into the brake pads. So always check your greasing. This one is pretty good. This is, car is pretty good on grease. So we're gonna take this caliper, slide it in through this pin, make sure the rubber boot goes on it. Bring this back down. Make sure your line is not like twisted and curled because a lot of times you'll twist it and bring it back down twisted. And then what we're gonna do is, I forgot one little guy, these two little guys. But always gotta have the caliper on anyway. We're gonna put these two little spring-loaded retainers. So let's lift this up, let it sit there, make sure you don't hit your hand. What you're gonna do is, you're gonna take this little guy, this little guy right there, one goes in the bottom. It's gonna work like a spring, and it's gonna give it more life to the brake pads. That goes in, and then you bring your caliper down. And now, we're gonna take this bolt, and Put in this bolt. Okay, so all I had to do was squeeze in the brake pads because uh, the springs was pushing them outwards. I'm gonna take this bolt. I'm gonna put in this bolt and make sure you tighten this bolt nice and tight, and you're done. Bada bing, bada boom. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, share and like. Make sure you tighten the bolt up really good, which I still gotta do. Okay, if you have torque specs and torque wrench, you could just torque it. But anyways, make sure it's nice and tight. And make sure your line is nice and straight.